Right, let's have a look at how to um, plan and write your component 3 essay question for AS level Afrikaans. There are five themes that you can choose from. In your final paper, you'll receive an option of any of the five and then a narrow down theme or um, topic that you need to use to write about. And you'll see that the topics are very much um, related. So perhaps write a few possible essays with different type of topics underneath the chosen topic that or the chosen theme that you want and um, just adapt that in your in your final final answer however it is very important to follow the planning procedure that i'm going to show you in order for you to um, gain the 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 language and um, credibility right so let's have a look at our 2019 um Topics we've got first up mensen verhoudingen. Um, this one focuses on family activities, new family relationship patterns. Um, think of the elderly and the status of the elderly and, and who's responsible for them. Um, think of generation gaps between you, your parents, your teachers. Um, conflicts and and um, uh, in in family circles. Um, what is the difference between the viewpoints of young gen the young generation and the older generation? How how different are are they? Um, attitudes towards young people um, and vice versa, and towards um, the family and and the um, surroundings. Um, um, young people mainly is a focus in this topic because of this theme because of you guys being younger um, and it's nice to use that as a as a little bit of a backup make examples from your own experiences even if you have to um, uh, make up a story just to get an example across um, use your own experience and it can be anything decide for yourself um, include anything that is that that is relevant to you as well in your essays um, and then an, another interesting one for me is the fact that young people are a target audience for Adver advertisers and um, politics so that's a nice discussion i think my guess is they might ask something about that because if you think of the political climate we are in we get a lot of information about america we get a lot of information um about us here in south africa and um, with regards to the, to the voting etc so use that as as um some some background for you and um, research or, or reading material that i would suggest for this topic or this theme is the ongelooflijke Ongelooflijke avonturen van Hannah Hoekom, die Marita van der Vijver, um, and Onderwereld, die Fanny Fuljun. That this is more his um, YouTube videos, but there's a book about it as well. Um, and then an, an, an example of an article I've also um, attached there. If you click on the the link, um, then you'll you'll be able to to see it. Um, and it just helps you to build up some content. Right. The next thing. Um, is the law and order one, or Raag en Gerechtigheid. Um, and this one focuses on daily routine, school, in the individual way of life or the lifestyle. Um, it focuses a lot on are we individuals and do we live an individual life or do we want to conform? Um, the advantages and disadvantages of urban um, and rural life, uh, transportation and communication, um, uh, shopping, and housing, all of those things that has got to do with the law that maybe once upon a time was um, initiated or approved and now still have, and it's been changed, but now still have some consequences. Um, the the role and influence of media and the, and the power of advertising, I think that is also, again, a very hot topic at the moment. How Instagram, for instance, has become such a advertising platform for for teenagers because or to, to target teenagers because they influence um, how you think about things they influence how what you buy they influence what you start believing so think about things like that um, uh, healthy eat eating habits um, uh, fast foods uh, national traditions um, of eating and drinking maybe you have a, a vegan a household or a vegetarian household and um, how does that compare or what is your opinion about that versus people who eat meat and is there a place for meat eating people um is there a place for vegan what is your opinion it doesn't matter whether someone is wrong or right 
We don't, we don't want to know whether someone is wrong or right. We just want to hear your opinion. What is your opinion about this? And how do you feel about this? What do, what is your suggestions? What are your solutions to problems? What are your, um, what are your ideas? You are the future of, of, of the world. So what are we going to do? And the only way we're going to get to do something is by asking these questions. So ask yourself these questions. How do you feel about the crime and the, the role of the police and the, the vets to passings, the law enforcement? Um, what is the role of philosophy and, 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 and belief in local and national, international context? Think about how, um, the Muslim community has been, um, has been targeted for, for being a certain way and, and generalized in putting them in a box. And same with, the, with all the other religions and, and spiritual movements. People tend to want to blame someone for something. So what, what, what is your take on that? How do you feel about that? Do you feel there's only place for one religion in the world? Do you feel there's place to talk about it? What is your idea? What is your opinion about it? Um, uh, think about uh, attitudes towards belief systems and philosophical um, issues, etc. What are the morals and values um, and norms of these groups? What are your morals and values? What are your norms? Do they differ from your parents? Do they differ from your peers? Do they differ from from your teachers? Do they differ from the world? Who are you? And um, think about healthy lifestyle. This kind of connects with your um, with your human relations topic as well. And um, exercise, dieting, drugs. And I'm not talking about the illegal ones. I'm talking about the drugs here that they sell um, as a as a prescribed medication. Um, and it's all chemical. And then versus the new age of and the new new age movement towards healthy medicine, natural medicine, and um, we've seen that the the, um, the the cannabis laws have been passed in, in in America and South Africa especially and how that how how is that going to influence the um, the human health status. Do you have any any research on that? Have you heard about that? What is your idea? Stress. Stress is a big thing. Um, and it's all to do with rules and regulations as well. It can have a connection with being at work. You have to dress a certain way. How does that influence you as a person? Tension. Go and do some research on it. And um, the, the reading and the research I would suggest for law and order is again on a battle of funny for you. The law of the internet, very important, especially the time and, and, and context we're living in. Very nice book to read to connect your reasoning, your research, and to support your, your answers in your essays with that. Vasilinki is also a, a film and also a book uh, which you can watch also to do with, uh, uh, your typical family who adopted a, a child of different color and how that influenced her life and, and how it changed and how laws had to come in place and how unfairness happens because of all these laws. So I go have a look at, go watch the video, go read up on it and see what you can think about and get up from that. And um, the third one is the work and leisure. Um, Werken on spanning. This is very nice. It's very broad. You can talk about women in the workspace and in and, and, and in society. Gelijkheid van geleentjede vir minderheidsgroepe. Equality of opportunities for the um, for the for the minority groups. Preparation for work and and, and job opportunities. Um, what is your what is your take on on jobs in the next ten years? Do you think you're going to do only one job? Do you think you're going to be a normal um, uh, person with a normal white picket fence with a normal job, or do you think there might be some um, some different job opportunities coming where you might be able to work from overseas, um, uh, or you can work while you travel and while you have a, while you have a family one day? Your qualifications and and, and work routines. Um, the what is the what is happening to the people? who don't have jobs. Bring it back to South Africa if you can always because it's nice or to Namibia or wherever you are but it's nice to be local. So if you live in, in, a, in another country and you're doing Afrikaans as a second or as an AS level language then bring it to your own environment. Say I live in um, in on, Ontario in America, America and I have seen this happen often so much around me. Like use your own personal experience again. Um, what is the value in rela in, in relaxations, uh, in, in leisure? What is the, the value in, um, um, in playing a sport or professional sport, etc.? 
uh, the tourism and, and, and as a modern fem- phenomenon um, friction between tourists and local um, be- live people that lives there and um, I'm thinking of a place like um, Hartenbos who is dead quiet during the year but when it's when it's a holiday season the, the little town gets um, overwhelmed by visitors and as much as it's very good for the economy it, it might also be very destructive for the surroundings so a lot of uh, rules and regulations again this is connected with your law and order a lot of rules and regulations are being put in place to keep the beach the beaches clean to keep the the areas um clean and 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 and, and user friendly so think about that as well um traveling obviously is a big thing amongst young people and and amongst people who's got money again it cuts people off who don't have the money so again you are you are making if you think about it like this we are ma- we are making traveling less um uh, um uh, possible for people who have less money so the poor still loses out on traveling while the rich still can travel do you agree with that don't you agree what is your opinion um underwise system education systems and types of schools patterns of curriculums you are within a constant change in education time frame the education has changed a lot over the for last two years and decades what is happening do you agree do you want to write exams do you want to do you agree with um further education and training um think about things like that the world of art um uh, the, the the tendencies the the the, the fashion senses and um, this includes again human relations because how does the media again have an influence on what we think is cool to wear or what we want to wear or what we think is the fashion right now um is there a place for arts and culture in in the build of a nation um uh, in the living in the life of a nation is there a place for that do we need it i mean refer back to artists that has made big headlines um in the past in south africa is there a place for art and if so to what extent think about things like that there's an article that i've attached that you can read to further your reading and and experience and ideas on that world peace battled friede conflicts in the world ethnic religious um ethnic religious ideological goal conflicts positive and negative aspects of social and economical development recent and 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 predictable and recent trends that has been said I mean think of the beard thing the beard thing i think of how male um attire has changed you see more and more um more feminine uh clothes that are being made for men where in the past it was much more masculine um you can think of the beard being a, a social commentary on um on how people thought about facial hair in the past and now it's such a big thing i mean there's so many things that can contribute to world peace just by using fashion by using uh, ideas of how people should be and shouldn't be how does that influence the conflict and how does that create conflict in the world um you can read any newspaper article that goes on in the world and and how the world has changed and what must change what is your opinion about it, about it? and then the fifth one pollution and misleading we've heard this over and over and over the only thing i'll say to you here is go and think about your surrounding how does it influence what you do at home how does it influence everyone out else out there also think of global um, warming think of um, sound pollution think of water pollution and, and air pollution and then the the destruction of the rainforests um do we need to save threat uh, a species species that are that are endangered why are the species endangered is it time for them to to go move on what is going on go read on um leonardo dicaprio's instagram page a little go follow him on instagram and see what he has to say what are the consequences of all these things that are happening he is a um a umgeving specialist he's a he's a, a environmentalist and an actor but he definitely has um a, a, a mission which is which is very empowering and positive i think go follow him and find more information and obviously more articles on that as well then we can start looking at um how uh, the two different types of essays that you can get perhaps and it's an argumentative one and a and a, and a describing or a storytelling one so the argumentative one is just how you see things how you think about it, how you compare things in your 
opinions and whether you agree or not, where the storytelling one is more how you feel about something and how you experience it and you tell us your experience from it. So the argumentative one versus the storytelling one. The argumentative one is to tell us a statement, give us your statement and prove your statement with what you feel is or what you think and what you've seen and what you what you com how you compare things with statistics and 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 almost some proof where the verhalend and the storytelling can be more of a fiction of tell us how it makes you feel and use your sen ten senses, sorry, senses to, to figure that out. If you start with your planning, I would suggest you first begin with wordless cut, then you go on into your planning further, and then your format. So if you look at wordless cut, we start we, we use the the, the the storm before mentioned to ask your questions: who, what are in your is in your text? Who do you want to talk about? Who does this affect? What is this about? When is this happening? Um, how do you feel about this? How does it make you feel? Um, where does this happen? And why does this happen? You can go list all those questions, words, and then answer them according to what your thing is now if you've got a broad thing like human relations then you're going to list all the type of things that could connect with this for instance that i put down for you here we or what and we can expand on that we take our vocab that we built and we we think of alternative words and you make it diminutive you make it a degree of comparison build yourself a nice strong vocabulary um section here you, remember to include creative language intensive forms idioms etc and um, then when you what you do after that you, you do that with for every every letter you do that with uh, with the unerverb the type the fuerverb the the the, um, the time the vanier and the and the and the vice sorry um you do it with you do it with place black and you do it with your infinitive why things are happening do this exactly what you see here with all of them go list every single letter all the words make sentences and um, make other words, make creative language, begin to go closer to your theme. So then if you've got your theme, in this case, means of Houdings, young men say spill a role in our generations, young people play a, a role in, in older generations, discuss this statement. Look what I did. I took the words that we chose there, young men say, and I made a sense, sentence with it. Young men say van vandag kan baie leer by hulle ouders en ouder mense. And I went on and I wrote a sentence for each of the words that I listed. This is just a small example of what you must do. Obviously, the whole essay isn't in here. Then after that, you can see these um, little um, numbers that I put. I then go and allocate each sentence for you in um, into a paragraph or into a section. So if you think of what sections we work in, we work in the first, the opening statement, then we work in the, for the with the middle, the second part, and then the end, which is the third part. So going back, I literally just numbered each sentence where they fit in. So go and f and, and decide where these sentences um, can fit in Samahang and where it makes sense, where it follows onto the other. And then after that, you go put it, like I said, into your, your three different sections. Your middle part can have more than two paragraphs. Again, mine is just an example. Look at the bold printed words. I added the degrees of comparison. I added a um, um, idiom in, in, the, in the third paragraph. I added um, a creative language here so that I can see. This is your first draft. Then after your first draft, um, and that also shows you the format of it there. It must be paragraphs. The, f the final draft, I would write it nicely and I will include my conjunctions. I'll start with um, different tenses, uh, sentences, um, sentence structures every time. I won't just start with a subject all the time. I'll also start with a, a manner or a time like, like, we've, like you've learned. Use Stompy. Check your sentences. Do they make sense? Don't overcomplicate your English in your head. Make your English easy. Don't overcomplicate the ideas. Write it simple down, like we did in this slide. L write it simply. Young men say van vandaag can learn a lot from the our elders. That's it. Then go on. Young men say van vandaag can learn from the elders, and then um, add your other sentence. Then go on. Then you build. You say, and that is where I put a conjunction in for you. Young men say van vandaag can buy a leer. Um, by hulle ouwer en ouwer mense, kultuurverskille speel een rol, maar gewoonlik word ouwer mense as meer wees en as leiders beskou. So, there I just showed you an example of two sentences, of which the second one is a is a joint sentence, where you start flowing in your essay. And then just make sure you have an idea of how much you, your word count is. And remember to write in paragraphs, include your 
um, creative language and just build from your first section where you ask yourself who and what is in this in this essay when is this happening why is this happening how is this happening um, where is it happening then go write your sentence answers um, uh, down and make plurals and diminutives and de degrees of comparison and and what other words comes to mind build some vocab for you think of people margaret thatcher thatcher was a positive leader where hitler was maybe a negative leader the, po the point of the of the matter here is that you have to make up um, words for you so that you can build on your vocab then go put it in sentences then go allocate it in which paragraphs or which sections do these sentences belong to put the numbers there then drag it over into your format so that you can see this is what still needs i still need a bit of more sentences um in in, in the third paragraph oh my ending um conclusion isn't strong enough i need to change something there and then you write your final essay